Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm here in Alice Springs in the middle of the desert. It is literally the desert. It's the middle of nowhere. And I'm here for one reason. My son is competing in the National BMX Championships here in Alice Springs. A whole bunch of people actually drove here. It took them two or three days. It's a long way in the middle of Australia. There's literally nothing around. Just desert and rocks and a few trees. This battery is a game changer. David sent me an email with lots of information. Now, disclaimer, David is a shareholder in this company. He want, wants you to know that he is a shareholder, but I've looked at the information. I've looked at the details. This battery absolutely will change the game. Why? It is the best battery technology that I have personally seen from any company that actually has produced them at commercial level. This battery tech is going to revolutionize batteries in North America, in the United States, in Canada, potentially even all around the world. Now, from what I can see, this battery is very, very similar to Tesla's battery that they're working on an LFP battery with a manganese cathode, same as what CATL have just released with their Kieran battery. Their technology, by the way, has been commercialized. It will be in electric cars by the end of this year. But there is a battery factory that's been built already in New York. It's already producing batteries. And the battery technology they're using gives these batteries the ability to do 2 million miles. 2 million miles. They can test this thing. They've tested it to do 1.2 million miles. And after 1.2 million miles, it has only 3% battery degradation. That's nearly 2 million kilometers. 2 million kilometers, 3% battery degradation. That, my friends, changes the game. Why does it change the game? Because these batteries are affordable. They're commercially scalable. And they're already in production. Apparently, they're already being used in vehicles in Croatia. Uh, they've been tested there for quite a while now. They're commercially in boats, apparently. Now, there are other companies in the United States using them right now as we speak. This factory is trying to scale up to 35 gigawatt hours of production. Going to take them a while to get there. Hopefully, someone comes along and says, you know what? This technology is a game changer. What the hell? Why is no one investing in this? They're looking at scaling to 35 gigawatt hours per year by 2030. That's just ridiculously slow. But they do say there is something that they're going to do which will change that game which will make them potentially one of the biggest players in the world. Now, sorry, my friends, but if you're a fan of General Motors or Ford or any other battery company that's, you know, in the US right now making batteries, well, most of them are good, but not that good. To be honest, the kind of technology we're seeing come from LG Energy Solutions for Altium batteries, it's okay. It's all right. You know, it uses, they, they do use nickel. They do use cobalt, right? It's okay, though. It's all right. Is it the future? No, absolutely not. If you compare that technology to these batteries, these leave it in the dust. Absolutely game-changing for a variety of other reasons that I haven't even let you in on yet. Now, let's have a look at the details. First of all, this is North America's only pure homegrown battery gigafactory serving EV and the BESS sectors. And it's opened. It's in New York. Yes, so we should be celebrating this. This is a huge milestone. Now, obviously, everything else going on in North America right now that is commercially producing a lot of batteries is not fully homegrown. This is. However, Australian vertically integrated battery tech and materials company Magnus Energy Technologies earlier this month announced the opening of the factory by its joint venture subsidiary Imperium 3 New York in Endicott, a small village in rural upstate New York. Now, I'm not really sure, but everyone's saying this is homegrown 100% American. So the involvement of this Australian company, maybe their investment is 100%. Maybe there's something to going on here with them being in America now. I'm not too sure on that. But that was a bit confusing to me. However, I'm going to call this company iMany. It's easier to say. So iMany is majority owned by Magnus and his technology partner at the plant, Charge CCCV. And they claim to have developed a lithium manganese phosphate battery technology called BMLMP. The BM stands for Bio-Mineralized Cathode. 
BMLMP cathode batteries operate at a higher voltage than other leading lithium subchemistries like lithium iron phosphate, LFP, and nickel manganese cobalt. While not requiring cobalt or nickel for their production like NMC and various other subchemistries. So it has every single advantage that NMC batteries have. It actually charge fast, charges faster than most NMC batteries on the market, yet it's cheaper. It lasts longer and has a higher voltage capacity. The Endicott factory will produce prismatic cells designed to yield high mechanical integrity, ease of assembly and volumetric efficiency. Interestingly, this battery plant actually uses hydroelectric energy for its power needs. So it's a fully sustainable battery plant as well. Now here's the really, really interesting part, which in my view, changes this company from someone who you should just think about to someone who you should take very seriously. The company said, despite a challenging global environment and supply chain issues, we have successfully started production close to schedule which is a major achievement. We now look forward to increasing production rates toward and over the gigawatt hour mark. But, however, this is the first of many. While it may be the first of its type in North America, it's likely to be the first of many more gigafactories from United States companies. Some that have specifically been announced to produce batteries for grid storage in addition to or even instead of vehicle batteries include a 12 gigawatt hour factory in Buckeye, Arizona, thought to be at a late stage of development by US headquartered startup Core Power. However, another group, American Battery Factory, claimed it could have a network of LFP gigafactories up and running within two years. And another startup called Sparks is developing a gigafactory in West Virginia, which will make cobalt-free solid-state lithium batteries suitable for grid applications. So what does this all mean? Well, it all means the Biden administration, their decision to try to jumpstart the industry with policy making, putting money into this, it was needed, it was necessary, and it will have a positive effect. Now, many of you are telling me on social media that I'm wrong, that all of these subsidies should not be there. I strongly disagree with you. I think we have enough evidence over the last, well, three weeks since that information has been disclosed that it's producing massive dividends, massive. I mean, look what's happening in the car industry now. Mercedes, a series of other brands are saying, yep, okay, you want that? We'll do it. We'll make them in America. We'll make the batteries in North America. We'll get the products from North America. We'll have a full vertically integrated car building facility in North America. That's a plan from a lot of automakers. Now, let's get back to that battery for a second. Have a look at the actual details. Magnus said that the latest results from its extra fast charging battery program show a less than 3% loss of initial capacity after 2,600 cycles. In other words, the battery will degrade just over 2% after 1.3 million kilometers, but that's if you fast charge it every single time. If you fast charge it 2,600 times, it only has about 2.8% battery degradation. This, as far as I can tell, changes the game. It makes solid state batteries pretty much irrelevant. Why would you want solid state when you can get this? These batteries will last clearly millions of kilometers, millions of miles, and they'll be affordable. And my friends, they're being manufactured in the United States. This is a game changer. This is a pivotal moment in the history of batteries. I cannot stress this enough you need to pay attention to this company. I personally, I'm gonna look into it. I'm very seriously considering investing. I haven't yet, I'm absolutely considering it because I'm convinced someone is gonna come along and put billions of dollars into this company and they're gonna start building LFP battery factories all over America with the incredible technology they have. Those factories will go up quickly. These batteries will get into cars and into energy storage quickly. And North America, may just be able to reverse its incredible reliance on China for batteries. This is the technology to make that happen. Make no mistake, this is it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.